Okay, here's a quick pro tip for you guys, girls, if uh, you want to take this task on. Um, pro tip. No one told me this. No one said anything about it online. No one, the instructions don't tell you this. But a good idea is put, for these uh, control arms, they're adjustable. So you want to measure. The instructions say 17, 17 and a half inches. Now, these uh, these ball bearings, these ball joints, they move. So if you measure from here to here, it can be off. And I had installed them and everything and found out once I measured them inside that they were off by, one of them was off by a quarter inch and the other one was off by half an inch. So that's pretty big. So what I did, and I figured this out when I was doing the fronts, but uh, what I did is uh, use a 3 8 um, 3 8 extension, um, you know, long ones, long enough to go in there. And then what you do is lift it up by the extensions, as you can see. And I mean lift it up. You know, I'm not going to show you right now with one hand. He's kind of heavy. But um, you'll see that, you know, down here these bearings you want them to line up and then up here you also want them to line up and you you'll straighten out these bearings and that's how you'll know that they are straight and when when you measure inside when you install them and measure them inside the vehicle then um, you'll know you got it right but uh, anyway so the front's all done and now it's just a matter of getting the uh, rears done again but yeah, yeah. I've, I've still got daylight. I'm good. I'll have these in, vehicle on the ground, and torque everything. And then tomorrow morning, alignment. All right, so that's your pro tip. Line them up with 3 ace extensions, and then take your measurements. All right, take it easy.